Wow, I, uh, I really don't see how they got that on tape. She was good. Yeah. Tell me, in an increasingly modern and technology-driven society, where does an ancient art such as yours fit in? Well, uh, the, uh, the industry today, it's very, uh, well, put it this way. Society has really lost its way in terms of paid assassinery in today's modern world. Yeah, you, you can't just kill people. Yeah, people are simply demanding a higher standard nowadays. You've got to be able to do your job quickly and professionally while at the same time making sure no one gets offended. Because, I mean, the, the last thing you want is a lawsuit on your hands, right? <laughs> <laughs> we've, um, we, we, we've definitely reached an age where uh, political correctness in, in the work environment is a... Uh, a must. Yeah, we like to think that we can provide some high quality ninjutsuri while, you know, at the same time uh, being a positive role model for the kids. Mm -hmm. So what comprises a safety ninja? Well, stealth is a, is a big key. Stealth is a huge key. Huge key. Very large. It's, um, yeah. It, it's, it's big. Yeah. Yeah. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. I said, yeah. And I'm agreeing with you. I said it's a good key. It's I, a big it's key. It's very, very big. <sighs> Whatever. Fine. Okay. Well, it's, it's essential to be well-versed in the ancient arts. My old ninja master used to say, a ninja must be able to cover greater distances without ever having a Dubia scene. He was an Italian ninja. Hence, the word stealth in all of this. We definitely do our part. Well, I mean, obviously safety is, is an important factor. I mean, um, what good is a safety ninja that isn't safe, right? Well, the key to the safety ninja operation is that all of our weapons and armaments are based on the ancient ninja principles. However, ours are designed to confuse and dismay our targets rather than to actually hurt them, per se. I see. Continue. For instance, where the ninjas of old had their Shurai Ken, we have these. Which are? We like to think of them as high-impact velocity spheres. Really? Because they look like tennis balls. Uh, no. No, tennis balls are green. <clears throat> I can be, please, be careful. Okay? Okay. Uh, what you actually do with this is you throw it behind you as you're running and it, el it eliminates pursuit. Um, the spike here, you see, can be used to immobilize almost any counter-strike. Um, but of course, uh, as you can see here, the uh, bottom is rounded, so uh, our spike simply just uh, falls right over. I mean, we don't, we don't want anybody losing a, a toe out there or anything, you know? I mean, that's when it gets scary. Every good ninja needs a good blade. So holding true to that principle, the safety ninja weapon of choice is this. The Fat Bat. Made from some of the finest plastics in the greater Tri-Cities area. It appears to be cracked. <sighs> um, yeah, listen. You can really put a good sting on somebody with one of these. Okay? Sometimes. Not if, um, they're wearing a coat or anything. Like, like you are now. <clears throat> but, I mean, the, the sound alone is, is extremely disorienting.
of course, not all of our design prototypes worked. You know, I mean, there's always room for failure. That's, that's the real variable of invention. Of course, there was the incident with the safety clause. And the licorice grappling hooks turned out to be a major financial setback. Yeah. So tell me about all this. Is it really necessary? Oh yes, definitely. Um, it's uh, it's kind of like safety armor. It's um, it's like a protective safety bubble. Yeah, very reassuring. I see. Now. I can't help but notice only one of you is wearing a mask. <laughs> can we, can we cut, please? Can we halt this, please? Cut. What? Come here. Come here. What are you doing? <laughs> Who's the big boy? <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Who is my big boy? Who is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can, can you guys give us some space, please? Give us some space, please. It's just... It's not that comfortable of a subject, you know. My face. <laughs> my vision blurs and I... <laughs> Ever since that day... The doctor said I'd never wear a mask again. Well, as, as a business, it's, it's, it's a relatively new medium. Um, we do our best to try and get our names out there to have it catch on, but uh, right now we, we, we do do a lot of birthday parties. Lots of stuff like that. We, we're able to keep ends meeting. But um, another thing that we, that we do a lot of is the public service announcements, things like that. Okay, kids, we have a very special guest today, so I want you to all put your hands together and welcome our special friends, the Safety Ninjas. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Ha, hey, kids! Hey, kids! All yeah! Right. All right, kids, yeah. we're here to teach you a lesson in safety, safety today. That's right. Yeah! Yeah! Now, I know there are a lot of you kids out there that think that safety isn't cool, but I'm cool. I got a question. Which one of you kids wants a piece of the safety ninjas, huh? Anybody? <laughs> Who wants a piece of the safety ninjas now, huh? And another thing, kids. Don't do drugs. Don't do them. Any questions? Yes, you, little girl. Why are only one of you wearing a mask? When it's all said and done, what do safety ninjas actually accomplish? What do you bring to this crazy, mixed-up world of ours? Well, that's a, that's a very good question. Um, well, I, I like to think we're, we're out there every day, giving it our all, making sure society is, is a very very safe place to live in. Um, we don't use our, 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 our training and our, our, our ninjutsuri to go out there and hurt people, per se. But I'd like to think we, we definitely... Um, teach them a lesson. Yeah, teach them a lesson. Teach them a lesson.
This is Nathan Vetterlein's Leukemia in A Minor. Thank you. 